Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Avaya's 1x Mobile Lite application for your iPhone. So first thing we need to do is download the application from the App Store. So let's locate the App Store app on our iPhone and we'll go ahead and launch it. Across the bottom you'll notice a search icon. Let's select that. This will populate a search bar at the top. From here we're going to search for Avaya 1x Mobile Lite. So let's go ahead and make sure we select the Lite version. Go ahead and select the app. And to install, we're going to select Free, followed by Install. Now in your case, before it downloads, you'll have, to in, you'll have to enter in your iTunes password. So now that we've downloaded the app, and as it's downloading here, uh, in the next few sections, I'm going to show you how to configure it and also make test calls with it. Great. Well, now that we've downloaded the app, we need to configure a few settings in order to use it. Just a side note, as I go through some of the settings, they may differ in your situation. At this point, let's locate the Settings app from our home screen. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom until we locate the Avaya 1X. This will take us into the settings for the Avaya 1X mobile light application. So we're going to start with the Emergency Number setting. So when we select that, We'll, we'll need to enable, turn that on, and then for our telephone number, we'll need to dial 911. So let's back out, and next we're going to select outside line. In our case, we select 9 to grab a call from the outside world. Uh, so in your situation, it may differ, so we're going to go ahead and program it for 9. Local numbers, now in our case, it's 7 digits. Again, this could vary in different situations. So let's back out and finally we're going to select our country code followed by our long distance code and international code. Long, local country code is 1, long distance is 1, and international code is 011. Great. Next step, we're going to go select EC500 settings. Now this section is going to require that we have six available DID numbers available to us. Uh, please check with your system administrator to locate these numbers. Uh, we have three settings in here, each requiring two DID numbers, one to enable and one to disable the feature. So as I go ahead and program mine, keep in mind that you will be entering in your available numbers and not be copying the ones that I'm entering. So let's go ahead and do that. Great, so let's back out, and the last piece of information we need to configure are the number of digits that we use when we dial extensions. So let's go ahead and select that at the bottom, and in our case we use four digits in our office, so that's what I'm going to select, uh, but yours can range from anywhere from three to six digits, so go ahead and program that accordingly. Great, so now that we've configured our app, my next section will show you how to make test calls followed by a section on how to use the mobile twinning feature for your phone. So hopefully now we've configured our phone correctly. There's only one way to find out, so let's go ahead and test it. Let's launch the Avaya 1X mobile light application from our home screen. You'll notice that a dial pad will come up. From here we should be able to make any call so let's go ahead and pick a, select a number that we want to make a test call to.
So once I dial the number, I'll go ahead and select call. First thing you'll notice is several short tones. This is the system actually grabbing dial tone using the IP office via the DID numbers that we programmed earlier. If programmed correctly, the end user that we're calling should display our office number and not our iPhone number. Great, so now that we ended the call, let's go back into the One X mobile application. From here, let's go back to the dial pad. And now we can four digit, three digit, five digit, however many digits you have, we can four digit dial from the phone. So let's go ahead and ex select extend call. You'll notice that you'll grab dial tone again. So from here, let's go ahead and use the keypad and we're going to dial any extension in our office. So hopefully you've reached that extension. So this will allow you for now from your phone to also four digit dial. Great, so now in the last section I'll show you how to use that mobile twinning application. So now that we've made the test calls from our One X, it's time to utilize the twinning feature. It's important to note here that we need to be set up for twinning on the system side. So let's go ahead and check with our system administrator first to make sure that we have that available. Okay, let's launch the app once again. This time, locate the One X icon in the bottom right corner. Now you should see two options, simultaneous ring and send all calls. Go ahead and select simultaneous ring for the twinning feature. This will bring up two options, enable or disable. Select Enable will activate twinning, and obviously Disable will deactivate, so go ahead and select Enable. You will notice your phone will look like it's making the call. You'll hear two short tones, which will signify that you've activated the twinning feature. To test this, go ahead and call your office number. Your iPhone should start ringing as well.